The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Budget cool trucks have arrived. Refrigerated trucks and tippers for hire. Hit News Briefing. I'm Ann Stone. A Sydney businessman accused of selling Australia's national security and defence information to alleged overseas spies has appeared in court for the first time. The 55-year-old is facing up to 15 years behind bars if he's found guilty. Federal police say he was recruited online by two people claiming to be from a think tank who were actually working for foreign intelligence. Drama in Japan where the country's Prime Minister has been involved in a bomb scare. Fumio Kishida was due to give a speech in a fishing port in Western Japan when a loud explosion was heard. It's believed a smoke bomb was thrown. The PM was quickly evacuated and he wasn't injured. A man was arrested at the scene. There are tributes for the Sydney paramedic who was fatally stabbed in a McDonald's car park. Stephen Toger had been wrapping up his shift when he was attacked. The father of one was about to welcome his second child with his wife Madison. The alleged offender, a 21-year-old man, has appeared in court and his lawyer says he's currently in hospital suffering serious mental health issues. Treasurer Jim Chalmers says there won't be any tax changes in next month's federal budget, apart from the ones already flagged for super, but he has confirmed the Albanese government will fund a 15% pay rise for aged care workers. And fancy living in a cave for 18 months? Well, this Spanish woman did as part of a science experiment. It's not like the time is passing faster or slower. It just doesn't pass at all. I mean, it's always four in the morning. Join the community that helps make wishes come true. Visit makeawish.org.au to make your donation today. That's makeawish.org.au. In NRL action today, the Warriors and Cowboys games just getting underway in Auckland. That'll be followed by the Knights and Panthers and Newcastle and a big game on the Gold Coast tonight with the Titans and Broncos. And Broncos skipper Adam Reynolds says he'll play on for a couple of years yet and he's told Triple M the re-signing of coach Kevin Walters last week was a great show of faith. Yeah, he's been fantastic this season in getting the boys up each week and that's thoroughly deserved. He's got the training hard throughout the preseason. Last night saw wins for the Sharks and Manly, and some of Australia's top athletes were slamming at Mayo's. <laughs> across central Queensland for the rest of your day tomorrow. Completely clear skies, a top of 32 degrees. And it's the daily stories that matter. In under 20 minutes, search the briefing podcast on Listener. Download the app now and listen for free.